Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and I had had a request to create a video that demonstrates how to create geometry using absolute coordinate input and incremental coordinate input. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. This is going to be a quick video. It's going to cover just the basics. We're going to be working with wireframe geometry. More specifically, we're going to be working with using lines here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to hit the uh, spacebar twice. That's going to take me to a plan or a top view. Here's our x-axis and here's our y-axis. And there's our datum, our x0, y0, z0. Remember that ultimately before you apply toolpath to your geometry, you want to make sure that your origin on the screen here, x0, y0, z0, matches the origin out there on the machine tool. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use this as my origin, upper left hand corner, and we're going to create some line geometry. And we're going to start with just good old absolute coordinate input. So there's line. Now you'll notice you have a column here called world, and you have another column here called on plane that's grayed out. We're going to talk about on plane in another video. This just uses the coordinate system for a current construction plane, where this column here uses the current coordinate system which is the world coordinate system and that's exactly what you're seeing x y axis there's x0 y0 z0 okay so let's say we want to have our line let's say we want our line to start at x0 y0 z0 we don't have to do anything we can just click ok on that okay now there's other options here line link line angle we'll talk about that in another video let's just stay focused on absolute input now if I want the end of the line to go to x of six inches I simply just type in six for x and then I click OK. This is how I suggest you learn how to use one CNC first when using absolute and incremental input is to just type in the value and then click OK. There's some shortcuts you can learn later on. Now let's say we want the line to come down to, well, let's say we want it to go to Y of, how about minus three inches? So I'm gonna type in minus three for Y and click OK. Now let's say we wanna take it to X of, how about four inches? So I'll type in four and then I'm gonna click OK. All right, now let's take it to y minus one inch. See, I'm, I'm just typing in absolute coordinate input here. Going to click OK. And also notice we're just typing in the axis that changes. Let's go to x of three inches. I'm just going to modify that to three, and then we'll click OK on that. So again, this is how I suggest you first start using one CNC when using absolute input. You just type in the, the axis that changes. So let's go to x zero. We'll click OK. All right, now we can type in Y0 if we want to, and we'll click OK to that. And when we're done, you see over here, our line still wants to be created. When we're done, just take your, uh, the easiest way is just take your mouse over here and right hand mouse click to finish. Okay, so there's our first shape. Let's quickly put a couple of fillets on there because it drives me nuts to have these sharp corners. I guess unless I had a wire EDM machine, right? So let's put that like that, and we'll say that part's done. Okay, let's give you some other examples. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to hit Control A on the keyboard, Control Alpha, then hit the Delete key on the keyboard to delete that. Let's make a new shape. So we'll go back into line. This time, let's say we want our line to start at X. How about X four inches, Y zero? So I'm going to click OK. And notice how over here on the screen, one CNC has given us a nice little reference there. Let's put that back to zero so you can see it. I'm going to click OK to that. And I'm going to go to Y minus two inches. We'll click OK. And let's go to X of how about three inches. We'll click OK. All right, now let's talk about incremental input. OK, so you'll notice that these entry points or these entry fields are all dedicated to good old absolute coordinate input. OK, all relative to the datum. Well, there's a little button here called plus ink. If you click on that, it's going to expand your dialog box here or your menu and you'll see now you have some fields here for any for entering incremental input so let's say I want this brand new line just to simply move incrementally in Y minus one inch so I'm going to type in minus one and you see it over there on the screen being drawn and then we'll click OK now let's say we want to create a line that's incremental in X so I'm going to say X minus how about one and a half inches now I don't want the Y to move, so I'm going to put the Y to zero. That's really important when working with incremental is you only want to put in the value that you want to use. So I'm see how I zeroed out the Y there and we'll click OK. Let's give you another example. Let's zero out the X and let's move the Y incremental in the positive direction. How about a half inch? And that looks good, so we'll click OK. What's neat about this is you can switch back and forth between incremental and absolute. Notice how the absolute is keeping track of where the line last ended. That is fantastic. That's a powerful tool. So I can come up here now, and I can type in 0. 
okay? And because this is absolute input, we need to make sure everything's filled correctly, which it is, and we'll click OK. And now we can move up to Y. Well, let's make it interesting. How about Y minus, how about Y minus 2 inches? We'll click OK to that. Now I'm going to switch over to incremental. I don't want it to move Y incremental, so I'm going to zero the Y out, and I'm going to say, OK, move that line incremental in X 1 inch. And we'll click OK to that. Now let's zero out the X, and let's move the Y up. How about 375 thousandths? We'll click OK to that. And now let's zero out that. And now let's take the X and move that minus one inch. And we'll click OK to that. And now let's hop back up to absolute. See how you can switch back and forth? Let's make that go to X0, Y0, Z0. We'll click OK. And now you can take your cursor. You can right hand mouse click if you're finished. I can, I forgot about this line at the top. I'm just going to take my cursor over here, grab the end of the line, left click. And now when I'm done, I'm going to right hand mouse click. OK. And let's quickly put some fillets in there, 0.125, let's say. All right, so that is a really quick overview on how you can create basic geometry using absolute and incremental input. Oh, there's one other thing I want to touch on. Let's say we want to use incremental input uh, to create geometry referenced off of other geometry. So to explain that a little bit better, let's say we want to create a, a, a hole that's a quarter inch in diameter, and we want to create it so that it's incrementally distanced from, let's say, that corner. We want it incrementally distanced a half inch down and a half inch over, all incrementally referenced off of that point right there. That's really simple to do. Let's go to circle. Let's change my diameter to 0.25. OK, and then in the incremental value, I'm going to instantly type in the incremental amount I want to use. So for the X ink, I'm going to type in minus 0.5. And for the Y ink, I'm going to type in minus 0.5. Now look what happens when I move my cursor here. I have my cursor location, but notice how the circle is positioned in reference to where my cursor is. Minus 0.5 in X, minus 0.5 in Y. OK, so I can grid point snap. I can entity snap, I can even type in coordinates up here, and that circle is going to be incrementally referenced from that. Easy for us, we can just come up here, snap that corner, and now we have a circle that's created that incremental distance. Now because this is all dynamic, very powerful, we can come over here and type in 0.5, and notice now the, the, the uh, cursor location, and now my circle is distanced 0.5 in x, y minus 0.5, and this all relative to the cursor, so I come up here and snap. And when we're done, we're going to right-hand mouse click. Okay? All right, so that's it for this video. Just kind of a quick overview on some basic tools for creating geometry within one CNC. And don't forget, if you're located in California and currently investigating CAD CAM or would like to purchase a fantastic CAD CAM system with outstanding service, give us a call at area code 909-931-7811. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to talking to you later.